maybe a small little croissant with my little tiny tiny burger here and my my little tiny french french stick of bread yeah um i'm sorry i obviously really like miniatures i have a thing with little tiny things that are so satisfying and cute to look at and yeah so when i saw this i couldn't resist it i thought it was super cute we need to zoom in here yeah i knew that i needed to get it because it's so sweet it's got go draw embossed on the side and basically what it is it's, it's a little palette and um it has magnets so it does that and it's super super small people are probably like wondering oh, what is the point of that so basically zoom out a little bit you take oops you take your little sketchbook and uh you open it up to the page that you want and then you you clip it on like this and then you have a sweet little plain air palette to go outside with and do tiny possibly just like outline sketches not too much because this is really small but i want to try it obviously i haven't been outside in like a decade now it feels like but yeah don't you guys love this isn't it so cute it's from a little private um indie company on etsy and i will link them down below but i just adore this little um palette i just think it's so sweet just meant for a little bit of plain air drawing i just thought i would show you my plain air sketchbook it's not really a plain air sketchbook i bought it um before i went on a trip with chris and i took like the sakura watercolors so i did a lot of like drawing outside in this sketchbook i went on holiday intending i was like i'm gonna fill this sketchbook and it's gonna be amazing this was like 2019 january just before we got engaged so there you go here's a little practice doodle here's chris at the airport so you've got the dates here 210119 um here's just me <laughs> waiting at the airport so i drew a suitcase because that's so interesting um here is a little view of my airplane trip and uh yeah i was super crushed in the seat because the person in front of me decided that um putting their seat back was an acceptable thing to do. Here is like, we went on a cruise ship and we were watching The Greatest Showman, so I just drew like the sky and I don't know why, it wasn't really that interesting of a drawing, but looking back on it now, I'm like, oh yeah, we watched that outside, it was quite sweet. Especially now that we don't get to go anywhere, I'm like, wow, look at this, it's amazing. <laughs> Um, here is a palace in Bangkok, so I really like the architecture there. I really like drawing just like the sky and then bits of a building. I think that's pretty obvious. Here's a drawing of Chris's feet, because I think once we were on, like, had sea days on the ship, it was like, what do I draw? <laughs> here are some gesture drawings of people. Um, I really like this woman here. I really like that I managed to get a bit of a sense and feel of these people on the cruise ship. I quite like gesture drawing and I wish I could do it more often, but again, COVID. <laughs> this was like a bingo bar thing, like, and what I was doing is I just, I think I just took like one pencil and I just drew and then I would do like a rough watercolor wash over the top. Here are some catfish in the Bangkok River. Here is a little statue that we saw which was really funny and cute um probably supposed to be quite fearsome um this was a painting on the wall that i copied off the cruise ship i don't know why i did that not quite sure uh pool room quite interesting it kind of takes me right back to being there which is really cool so it's like even though these are little glimpses into like just some area that i was in that's not re really that interesting now looking back in the sketchbook like a few years later it's really cool to just see it i got some pens from ho chi minh city and i was just testing them out i think they were like super cheap uh, kind of highlighter type pens and they weren't that great but they were quite fun to mess with some flowers and i think that's where i just kind of stopped doing stuff because i was on holiday i have this thing where i can't stop like anyway um yeah so i thought it'd be fun to just paint something in here and date it i think what i'll do is um not go outside because of covid but look online for some reference images and sort of pretend that i'm there <laughs> so first off we need to fill up this bad boy i have my little pesto pencil case that is filled with my 
tubes of watercolor and I thought it would be best to use watercolor because I think with watercolor a little goes a long way so I'm just going to pick out my favorites I have my schminke ones which are really nice and then there's not much left of them so they're probably perfect for this this company also has like different sized palettes which is really sweet um they have some really nice ones like really nice other ones I think this is like such a well-made li little thing I'm in love with it I'm sorry I bought this myself by the way they didn't send me this or anything so this is totally my my own opinion and uh yeah I know it's very small but it's my thing I like small things <laughs> and I like really big coffees so <laughs> yeah I'm not sure I'm a huge fan of these Van Gogh ones so much I have also Holbein ones that I bought from Japan when we went, I've got the Japan video where I did a big uh, art haul, if you want to go watch that and see what I bought. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of the, I really like the Winsor & Newton professional grade ones, they're pretty good, and the Cotman ones are really good. But I think I'm going to go with this, I'm going to keep it relatively small. I'm going to grab like a toothpick or something so I can arrange um, the, the paints a little better. Okay, let's try this out. I'm really excited to start using this. I think they're really cute. <laughs> I've got like a cute thing going on. I have an obsession. <laughs> pesto no. You're in the shaft pesto. Oh, brilliant. Thanks for that. She's super hyper right now, which is typical of like when I'm filming a video. Okay, so here we go. This is the first one, the white. This is little tiny titanium white. I, I really don't, <laughs> I'm like, don't get on the word. I'm gonna be a bit weird about it. I'm obsessed. I've got paint all over my hands somehow because even though it's the tiniest drop of paint, this happened. Why? <laughs> Next we're gonna use the Aquarelle Permanent Red color. Okay, I am gonna spill on the edges. I'm so sorry. I'm getting a bit annoyed by it too and I can only imagine what the angry Karens out there are thinking. There we go, there's the tiny little uh, paint palette. And <laughs> I'm so in love with it, guys. <laughs> you might be like, what's the point of this? <laughs> it's like a drip, a tiny drip of paint. But let's let's see, maybe it, maybe it comes to be super uh, useful. I've got this tiny little pot of water, um, a little tiny jar. It's not that tiny. Everything is not really in proportion with each other, but I'm going to use that and I'm going to use a small brush. Probably what I should be using is one of those like water brushes, you know, those uh, like plastic brushes and you put water in them and then slowly you can like squeeze out the water for when you're outside painting. But I'm not a huge fan of those and also I don't know where mine are. I think I've got a few of them, but they're somewhere in the house. I haven't needed to use them again. Covid's a thing, so I haven't gone out painting. I have this rather small washi tape. Did I consider cutting it so it was even smaller? Yes. Is that something I want to lay awake at night thinking about sometimes in the near future? No. So I didn't do it. <laughs> I'm just going to use just this smaller version of washi tape. Could you or could you not? Could you not? She wants to lie here. Cutie. Right, pesto, as cute as you are, okay, you're gonna have to move. Um, we are doing something here, we're doing something today, and um, I'm sorry you didn't get the job, okay? I'm sorry that it didn't happen for you. Um, you interviewed well, but in the end you just didn't have the skill set to... Oh my gosh, I can't. You did get the job. You're absolutely the CEO, okay? You, you are. Eevee! Okay, so I guess what I'll do is I'll layer down like a colour as best I can. Um, and then just go for it. <laughs> okay, that's cute. I'm just doing like a little simple scene. I think that was looking a bit too like straight out of... Oh no. Oh no, that's going to be... The white is now blue. Get over it. It's happened, everyone. It's probably not best for me, actually, this tiny. Because I am really, like, bad with mixing 
colours of other colours because I just tend to go for stuff. But you get quite a lot of bang for your buck with um, watercolours, that's the thing. Uh, so really, like that is a good amount to have on the go and just do really quick doodles. Like I could package this up and for instance when I was actually travelling I could just go out for the day and do some little doodles. And I think it's really cute and I can't wait for the day when I can actually go out and really use it again. Because when you're traveling and you're doodling stuff, you just want to do like a really quick impression anyway of the things around you. <laughs> I really want to go somewhere. <laughs> Can you tell? Uh, I think we all do though, so we're all in the same boat. It's not like people are sitting at home like, yes, this is perfect. I never want to travel again. So everybody is feeling the same. I guess with plain air drawing though, you could like sit for hours and paint something or you could just do something really quick to get like an idea and uh, just get a, a feel of doing a landscape and you know like trying to understand stuff visually from outside and finding things in nature that will help you with like trying to come up with compositions and different ideas for yourself so I think plain air drawing is obviously very important um, can we do it now? No. So do we do it and pretend that we're traveling? Yes. Yes we do. I once found out like where I went to university that um, Hayao Miyazaki, because I went to university in Wales and I found out that Hayao Miyazaki used to take the train up to this place called Ronda which was very near where my I did my foundation course in art there, like near there, and he used to take the train up um and draw and do studies out there and i was just like oh my god <laughs> i think we're gonna move on to the second painting and then go back in rework this whilst i wait for this to dry currently i i am just looking at um pinterest because i think pinterest is a really good tool um it's really useful to just kind of get references and uh paint stuff in your own style i mean like some people struggle with that being able to like visualize stuff for themselves so I think it's important that you have all these references, like we're really lucky that we have the internet. These are really fun as well because they're just super quick, so there's a lot of room for error. You could just go for it and not have too much um, pressure to be like, this needs to be perfect because you're doing something really quick and small and you're just getting like an impression of what you're doing and an impression of the area, so it's just... I think like maybe people look at this little tiny palette and they think it's a bit silly but look how much I've been able to use and I've still got lots of paint left. You do get a lot out of a little bit of watercolour. I don't know how good this would be for like say gouache because gouache I feel like I use a lot more because I like to layer it a lot but that could be uh, for the future I could have a little go to see how this thing handles gouache. Let me know in the comments down below if you'd like to see that. Or if you're done with this tiny palette. <laughs> I'm kind of not done with it, I think it's so cute. Problem is, if I was out in the wild, <laughs> out there in nature, if I did do this thing that I usually do where I mix up the paints by accident, um, I'd be pretty screwed, I guess. But then, if I was in one spot, for instance, if I was in a really green area, I guess if everything is tinged with green, it wouldn't be such an issue. So, yeah, there's pros and cons. I guess if you do like the idea of this, they do have like slightly bigger ones so you could possibly get a bigger one and have the same similar results. Ah, oh, I'm a bit in love with it to be honest, probably people are watching it like, get over it, but I really like it, <laughs> I think it's so pretty. So yeah, I'm just doing like a bit of an impression of what I see in these images. I'm imagining that I'm here in the blistering cold weather with the the, uh, the the wind coming at me from all angles and trying to get my hand to stay steady whilst this wind touches at me and uh, yeah <laughs> that's what I'm imagining whilst I'm trying to do this what would it be like to be out in nature again here we come across a wild artist in her natural habitat trying to pretend that she is not in her home comfy with a Costa coffee and uh, filming. I think what I would do if I was out painting I would probably take a little water jar with me because I prefer it to those 
water, you know those water paint brushes where you squeeze it and the water comes out? I think I don't like those very much because you can't really control the water so much. Um, but yeah, if I had this I could empty it out and then pour fresh water into it because now you can see that it's getting a little bit green. And uh, sometimes we don't want that to tint what's happening with the watercolour. So say if I was going to go in with a white it would tint it a little bit. I mean I'm a little bit all over the place hectic with painting stuff so I don't really mind but maybe that's a little tip for some people who might mind that kind of thing. Change your water because then you get dirty muddy paint otherwise and I, I, I don't really care but <laughs> you might. Uh, aren't you glad you subscribed guys if you, if you have if you haven't like got left already and unsubscribed at the same time please don't please come back because there's a lot of light like reflecting off this mountain and it looks kind of pinky purple which is pretty this this watercolor smells very weird kind of smells it smells really weird <laughs> Thanks for that description. You're welcome, guys. <laughs> it smells weird. Okay, I'm gonna move on back to this one. We're working in tandem here. I suppose if I was out and about, I would bring a little cloth with me, then I could uh, use it to clean my brush off, but also like to dab away color that I've made a mistake on. Then you can simply just pop this in the wash and it will get rid of all the paint. So I'm just trying to pick up a bit of the paint because I think I went a bit too much with it. Going back to watercolours, you kind of forget that you have to be very careful with what you're laying down. With um, gouache, you can just layer and layer and layer. When I was like using this uh, uh, palette, I thought like, oh, the colours might run out really quickly, but that's okay because you could probably take like some of these small tubes with you on the go. But now I'm like, actually, it's kind of lasting a really long time, so maybe you don't even need to like carry any tubes of paint with you. It's kind of working out. Very good work, little tiny palette. You're doing, you're doing good. I want, yeah, I really do wonder like how it would be with gouache, to be honest. Like how long would it last? And because uh, you can use gouache like you use watercolors, so if you went in with that kind of mentality of trying to use it like it's watercolors, then maybe it would work out. So yeah, I'm just doing like an impression of the landscape basically that I'm seeing here before me in my Pinterest, not in real life. I think I, I might be overworking these because I, I really like the way that they're, they're looking like, you know what I mean? Like they're just looking like a bit of a, an impression, a quick um, sketch of the area that I'm in and I'm on my way, I'm going back home or I'm going on my walk, my rest of my walk, my hike, um, I'm off. So I think that would be perfect for a little tiny, plein air session. What do you guys think? I think they're so lovely and look it's super lasted. Let's see how it goes if I shut this and uh, imagine that I'm on my way so I'm just gonna shut it and uh, well, I mean you can put that anywhere but pop it back in my bag. Da -da 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 -da. I'm walking, I'm walking <laughs> and I get back home. I want to see the mess. Looking fine. I mean Obviously, I just shook it in my hands for a second, so it's not really the same experience, but I believe that it would actually be quite airtight and not spill in your bag. Um, and then you could just really quickly wash it. I do worry about the wood and water, but I think this has been treated in a way that it's just going to be fine. Oh, well, I hope it has been anyway. It seems really well made with the magnets here and then the magnets there. and. This little imprint, I really, really like it. I, <laughs> I keep going on, but I just think it's so nice with this little porcelain inlays as well. It's so well made. Anyway, uh, let's see what these paintings look like quickly. Uh, let's do a little peely action. Yeah, this is my tiny plain air. Ooh, that ripped a lot. Plain air drawings, and uh, I wonder what you guys think. If you like this little tiny palette as much as I did, and if you would like a little croissant to go with it or a little bakery bread, let me know. <laughs> well, that's it, guys. I hope that you really like this video. I really liked having a bit of a chatty video with you and using these. Let me know if you want to see different types of paint like gouache, 
um, maybe acrylic gouache as well. Let's see what this thing can handle. Let me know down in the comments if you enjoyed it. So I'd like to give a shout out to all my subscribers who have the shout out option. They are Little T, Keely, Truxy. Let me know if I'm saying your name right, Truxy, because I feel like that might be wrong. Um, Lamon, Luzernia, Luke, Ilira, Hannah, Ace Tubulum, Jacqueline, Heidi, Steph, Eva, Lucille, Erica, Megaya, Tim and Charlotte and Alex, thank you guys so much, your support honestly means the world to me and it really helps me do what I love to do, so thank you so much. And if anybody out there would like to support me, please go ahead and look at my Patreon rewards, it honestly it means so much to me and I would just love it to be able to just paint all day, but uh, you know, we gotta work in the real world, so. Anyway, um, this is the final paintings, and I hope that you guys like them. They're just a sort of quick impressionistic style of a landscape, and I really do like them. They're quite cute and interesting, and I wanna do more of them, so let me know if you wanna see more. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe for more content like this, and I will see you next time. Bye!